everybody. Welcome back. Tonight we are making baby back ribs. Now I'm going to do a dry rub, but I'll show you how to, um, to kind of change things up to make it more uh, fit your family's needs. What we're going to do right now is we're actually going to put together our rub. I just add brown sugar. You can use light or dark. It's up to you. And I use about, about a cup and a half. Then you're going to add some seasoned salt. And you want your seasoned salt and your um, your brown sugar to be about equal as far as uh, how much you put in there. Then I put about a tablespoon of garlic powder. About a tablespoon of pepper. And then for a little kick, I add some chili. Okay, so that's the mixture that I'm going to use. If you want to spice things up, give a little kick to your ribs, um, this is what you would do. You would simply soak your ribs in about half water, half hot sauce. I recommend Frank's. It works the best to kind of tenderize your meat and get you kind of heat. And then in your mixture, you'll go ahead and add um, some crushed red pepper um, to it, and that will spice things up. You can even uh, reduce the amount of brown sugar um, that you put in there and add more um, of the crushed red pepper to give it even more of a spice than a sweet. Now I'm just going to mix this up, crush out any lumps I have in my sugar. All right, so now that we got that all done, we're going to move on to our ribs. Now baby back ribs don't have a lot of fat on them, but one thing that you do want to make sure that you always, always do is remove your membrane. This um, piece of skin that's kind of on the back here, it's usually really easy to come off. What I do is I just take my knife and go under the edge a little bit, kind of get it started, and then you can just pull it up. Oh, it won't hurt us, It won't hurt it. <laughs> Trust me. Guess what those are made of? Chicken. All right. Now you want to pull this off because this will actually block um, your seasonings from setting in really well to your meat. It also, um, it's just fat, so it's going to give you more grease to deal with and you don't really want grease sitting on your ribs. Yep. Okay. So now that we have that done, we're going to go ahead and rub it down. Now, while you're doing this, you want to preheat your oven to about 375. You just kind of want to massage it into the meat really well. Got the back. Flip it over. Alright. And you should have a little bit of your rub left and you want to hold on to that because we're actually going to rub it again. So what we're going to do is we're going to get this all rubbed up and then like I said you are going to use your rub again. You're going to put these in for about 45 minutes. Um, you're going to cover them with foil in your pan. You can put them on a rack um, in a pan if you so choose. I just put them you know, directly into the pan. I don't have a lot of issues with that as far as uh, grease or anything like that. Alright, um, you're going to cover these up, you're going to pop them in the oven for, like I said, about 45 minutes, and then in 45 minutes you're going to take them out of the oven, and you are going to put a little bit more of the rub on it. You, um, this is one thing that I do is you get a nice juice going on in the bottom of your pan from just the juices of the of the meat and the, the rub kind of coming together. And I just take a brush, a uh, throw brush and, you know, brush all over it, kind of marinate it a little bit more in its own juices. And then after that 45 minutes is up, you're going to take them out, put a little bit more rub on the top, 
and then you're going to turn your oven on to broil. Now you want to be very careful anytime you broil anything because different broilers um, are at different heat. I tend to leave my door open just a little bit so that you can kind of keep an eye on it. And what you should end up with after all is said and done are these wonderful juicy, I'm going to cut into these so that you can see. Of course, I cut right onto a bone. Yep. I'm going to pull that apart so you can see. See all the juice squeezing out of there? Yeah, I see the bone, too. <laughs> all right. Well, that's how we make our dry ribs. Now, if you want to add barbecue sauce at your 45 minutes, um, when you add more rub, you can do that. If you do decide to add barbecue sauce, don't put the rub on again. Just do a layer of barbecue sauce, and then at your next 45 minutes before you put it in the broiler, rub it with the barbecue sauce again, and then let that caramelize. But we did, this ended up just a dry rub, but it's nice and juicy and tender. It's all on how you, um, you know, how you like your ribs, but I hope you enjoy.